Hey everybody, Dana Show of Civil War Times, back with Melissa Wynn, Director of Photography. And again, we are here in Washington, D.C.'s Congressional Cemetery on the southeastern side of the city. Before we talk about this specific location, I was just going to ask Melissa to pan so you can see how large the cemetery is and how beautiful it looks right now with the foliage coming in for the spring and it's bright green. I've been sneezing because pollen's out, so all kind of good stuff going on. So that gives you a sense. This is a large cemetery, large cemetery. And Steve Hammond, our wonderful guide, was pointing out the large building over there is the, the DC jail, right? right? Yeah. So the helicopter traffic, <laughs> a lot of it, we don't know where it's coming from, but it seems to be attracted to us today anyway. So bear with us on that. But before we talk about this location, Steve, you've, your uh, name tag says you're a member of the Sons of the Union Veterans of the Civil War. We talked about his ancestor, Max Einstein, founded the 27th Pennsylvania Infantry. So what, what's your role with the Sons of Union Veterans? I was a past department commander, meaning I ran everyone in Maryland, Virginia, and District of Columbia. And so I was department commander there. And we have, we didn't this year, but we have national meetings where we all, all get together mm -hmm. and talk about issues. But. Um, Fantastic. So, if you have, if you are descended from a Union veteran, that's something you could look into. There's oh, a yeah, web absolutely. A website and everything. Yes. Okay. Excellent. So, I see some dogs walking by here. That the Canine Corps, as we mentioned earlier, helps preserve and maintain this beautiful cemetery. So, I don't know how bad that chopper noise is, but Nobody's anyway, saying anything. we are at the grave of Matthew. Brady. Now, of course, his name is going to be familiar to all of you because he is a noted photographer that was actually taking portraits before the Civil War of notable Americans and, of course, gained even greater fame for his role during the Civil War. Now, Steve's going to talk a little bit about it, but you can see where people have come here and left little cameras as a tribute. Film canisters. Film canisters are left here. You can see one over there. There's a film canister. And see some more cameras. So, a couple things here, right? Matthew Brady, how did he die? He died here in D.C., yeah, he correct? Died, he, was, he was fairly destitute by that point. He was pretty broke, penniless. Yes, and in fact... He actually died in New York City. He was run down by a taxi cab. Oh, in New York? No, here in well, Washington. He, okay. And he actually survived and was taken back up to New York, and he died there. And I believe it's one of the uh, regiments actually got the money together and brought him back here for the burial. This is the Handy family grave. Right. So this, you'll see here, Handy. This is the Handy family plot. Yes. And his wife was Julia Handy. Well, yeah, no, she was Marianne Handy. Well, yeah, Marianne Handy. Oh, okay, his wife, okay, I'm sorry. I got, I see yeah, the right. daughter, the daughter. So his wife, this is his wife's grave. Yes. Okay, so he marries Marianne, and he's in their family plot. Yes. But you know, guess what, you know, it's the family thing. Right. And so, so there is a uh, marker here, and in fact, if you look at this, the marker here says his date of death was 1895. So yeah, there's sort of like a footstone here, and it says he died in 1895. This says 1896. 1896. So, so what's the deal with that? Um, I don't know. We don't know. And in fact, what does the back say? The back says, donated August 1st, 1988 by Fred and Francis Gillespie, Theo, Thelma, and Sarah Hurt, John, Nadine, Barbara, and Marilyn King, James and Leslie McFarland of Warren, Ohio. You know, so these people put the uh, put the marker here in his memory. In the 80s. In the 80s. What yes. was here before that? 
Nothing. So it was just this before? Just this, right. Okay. So someone out there, I'm sure, is going to be telling us what is the correct death date for Matthew Brady. Is it 1895 or 1896? I'm not sure off the top of my head, to be honest with you. Now, there must have been a ceremony when this was put I, in or I, something. I don't know about don't know. that. But obviously, people make a pilgrimage here because of all the little cameras and stuff. It's, it's not unusual for us to see all sorts of stuff here. And in fact, one time, I had a, a, a girl who said to me, can you show me where Brady is buried? Because I'm supposed to, to uh, see this to get a better grade in my class. And I'm like, sure, so, I'm so was it a high school or college kid? College kid. College kid. So a college kid came here, needed help on a term paper, and you saved their college career, yeah, basically. that's right. <laughs> that's what we're going to go with. Steve saved a young woman's college career by pointing out Matthew Brady's grave. So just one of the, the notables uh, interred here uh, and an interesting story about this notable man, penniless when he dies, uh, and ends up in you know, his wife's family plot because that's where he had to go, and then finally got a larger stone here in the 80s by these individuals from Warren, Ohio. So thanks to you folks from Warren, Ohio. We're not quite sure why you did it, but it's it's appreciated. Thank you. Any Any comments, Melissa? Well, John Farrell has already given us his death date as January 15th of 1896. Okay. Kathy Billings says, awesome. From, she's here from pa Paris, Tennessee. She loves the camera tributes. Oh, cool. Um, hello to Gail Harden. Uh, she's watching. Russ Dodge is here. We, who we know loves cemeteries, of oh, course. Right. Hey, Russ, how are you? <laughs> mm -hmm. he's Russ, has been, sure been here. He said he's visited here a number of times in the 90s before they began the restoration. He's glad to see that it's been it's, restored. Russ, yes, it's, nice. it's very it's, nice. It's very nice and pleasant here. It really is. And like I said, I was here maybe five years ago. It's, it's nicer than it was oh, five yeah. years ago. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's really, really great. Uh, Jeff Smith says hello. He's watching from uh, Rhode Island. All right. Um, Gary Martinatus from Ellicott City. Gary, and I want to say hi to John Manolis, a friend of mine from high school. Right. Who was at least on our first broadcast. Yes, he was. Uh, Ryan Kaiser, thank you for the feedback on the noise. She said it's just background and she can hear us just fine. Oh, thank, thank, thank you, you so very much. much. Yeah. Uh, Chris Davis from Georgia. Uh, and lots of other people too. Thank you so much for tuning in. All right, well, we're gonna wrap it up from here and we're gonna move on to, I think it's a very moving tribute here in the cemetery and uh, a notable event that occurred. And I think you'll appreciate that as well. And that's just gonna be a couple minutes. We're gonna head behind me here uh, to another uh, grave site, memorial site. So until then, this is Dana Show, Steve Hammond and Melissa Wynn signing off from the grave of Matthew Brady, notable Matthew Brady, here at Congressional Cemetery in Southeast Washington, D.C.